CBS 46 investigates a dangerous problem on a movie set in Metro Atlanta. The problem is bad enough for crew members to fear for their lives. They say it's mold, black mold. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy spent months investigating the problem. He joins us live outside of the school, Jamie. Sean, air test results inside the building showed mold levels so high that workers could have only been safe wearing proper protective gear. It could escalate real fast, and you, you know, next thing you know, you can you can possibly be dead. For Michael Green, the next chapter of his life is filled with uncertainty. There, I mean, there was times when, you know, in the first three months, where I couldn't even walk more than five minutes at a time without having to sit down and rest for, you know, an hour. His severe respiratory problems, according to him, are the direct result of working on the Hollywood feature film, The Best of Enemies. I'm gonna find you somewhere beyond nice to go. People started, you know, in our crew, had to go to the ER. It was filmed at the abandoned Hubert Elementary School. A mold testing report during the filming showed dangerous levels of black mold spores in the building on two separate occasions. Michael saw the reports and immediately saw a respiratory specialist. I showed him the air quality reports and he looked at those and he goes, yeah, there's no way anybody could be in there and not get sick. We went to a pulmonologist to ask him about the air quality reports. Yes, those numbers are alarming for uh, in an enclosed high space, yes. If people, were, if, if they're sensitive and they have a, a certain group types like asthma, chronic lung diseases, or immunosuppressed, it could, it could be life-threatening. To safely enter a building with such high mold levels, you should wear an approved respirator and protective clothing as black mold can permeate the skin. We saw growths of all types throughout the decaying building. We reached out to the production company and the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees regarding work conditions. After many emails and phone calls, we were able to track down an executive producer who worked on the best of enemies. He confirmed that air tests showed an unsafe work environment, leading to the site to be shut down and production moved elsewhere. I spoke to another crew member who didn't want to speak on camera, but confirmed conditions weren't great and that a number of people on the production fell sick. Michael estimates his financial loss so far at $45,000 but says the ongoing health costs will be exponential. It affects everything, yeah, for sure. I mean, you could just imagine everything in your life that you do that requires breathing, and that's everything. Now, there is so much more to this story than we could air. Head to the CBS 46 app and online for more on this investigation. Live in Atlanta, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.